You know, combining two different styles of desserts seems to be a winning formula for this channel. And that's why we're gonna make the red velvet pound cake. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's the perfect stress eating food to kick off the super disingenuous start to the decade. First thing you need to do, set the oven to 350 degrees. Is it called a 0.453 kilogram cake where you're from? The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. Okay, for this recipe, bust out the handy dandy stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Add four sticks or one pound of unsalted butter. We need to let that soften and come to room temperature. Once it does, add one pound of sugar. We're gonna cream these on medium. Okay, once it starts coming together, you can boost the speed to high. Okay, once it resembles mashed potatoes, you can move on to the next step. Add one pound of eggs, or about eh, nine eggs. It really depends on what size eggs you use. So set the mixer to low and add our eggs one at a time. Okay, once it's incorporated, add in the next egg. And in, once that's incorporated, add in the next egg, rinse, repeat. Scrape down the size of the bowl one more time. Now, before we add the dry ingredients, let's add a few more things. Half a teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And most importantly, red food coloring. I recommend going with red food coloring gel. Oh, and quick tip, use a bit more than you think you need because once we add our flour, it's gonna lighten up and color a bit. I have here one pound of cake flour sifted along with one third a cup of cocoa powder, also sifted. Oh, and add this in batches. Scrape down the size of the bowl one last time. The monetization be damned. Okay, turn this thing to high. Then gradually lift out the mixer. Look, that's a miracle. I didn't get any on my GoPro lens. And boom, it's all in the bowl. And a little bit on the cabinet over there, but still in the bowl. Next, grab yourself a bun cake pan. Link in the description if you want one. Now, I know you're supposed to coat the thing in butter, then flour it, but I used up all the damn butter. Besides, I like this better. Flat. All right, dump some flour inside, cover it with a paper towel, and, and shake it out. Okay, you might have to do it by hand, that's fine. All right, dump out the excess flour, and it's ready for our batter. Okay, just uh, shake to even it out a bit. All right. You know what, it's been a stressful start to the decade. Let me eat this. Place our cake in the middle of our 350 degree oven, and let it cook for about an hour. Okay, after an hour and 10 minutes, let it cool on a cooling rack. Okay, while the cake cools down, let's make the glaze. Rinse the bowl of the stand mixer clean as well as the paddle attachment and add one eight ounce brick of cream cheese. Make sure it comes to room temperature and cream it on medium speed. Then working in batches, add two and a half cups of powdered sugar. 
Then add a third of a cup of milk. Oh, almost forgot. Add half a teaspoon of vanilla. I already put away the GoPro, so. Cut up the slice and dig right in. Okay, better wrap things up and keeping my family hostage in the guest room. This has been Jay's Cooking Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, hit the subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh, Doug, are you liking the new Anstream title cards and time cards? Let me know.